What is up, everybody? Hope everybody's doing great. Sorry, guys, moving the phone around a little bit. Actually driving home from a, a day of knocking, doing some inspections and stuff. Wanted to do this video. And I, I really do hope this video gets around a lot. I hope everybody hears this. Um, if you're in the roofing business, if you ha helping people with insurance claims, I hope you watch this and I hope you understand what I'm saying. Also, if you're a homeowner and just have an insurance policy, I really hope this gets around too. And I hope you guys understand this and I hope you hear this because I've been seeing this a lot. Been working out in Dallas, Texas and it happened again today, you know. Um, for whatever reason, you know, when people, when people file an insurance claim, you know, one of the things that happen that don't happen like in the medical insurance, um, you know, car insurance, homeowners insurance is totally different, especially here in Texas. I don't know what it's like in other states, but here in Texas, when, when a homeowner files an insurance claim, you know, the insurance company sends the proceeds, uh, the first part of the proceeds, they call it an ACV, an actual cash value. They send it to the actual customer, the homeowner, right? Now, legally, legally, a homeowner can do whatever they want with that money. You know, whoever that is, whenever you get that money, you can do whatever you want with it. You know, um, it, it doesn't, it doesn't actually mean that you actually have to use that money to, to fix your, repair your home, you know? Um, but let me tell you, let me tell you, and again, if you're, if you're watching this and, and, and I hope you hear me really loud and clear, you better use that money to fix your house. You better use it to fix your roof. I, I can't stress that enough. And if you're a salesperson, you know, I don't know how you explain it to the customer. And I don't know if how you how you want to get this across, but it's vital, vital that they understand this. Okay. So what happens is, is let's just say, for example, a customer or a, a homeowner or somebody gets their first check, that ACV check, and they have a bill or they have stuff going on in their house like, man, I really need this money for something else. And they end up not fixing their house. So they end up not fixing their roof. And this has actually happened three times in Dallas. Uh, some of the areas that we've been working at and it's, it's happened to me and I've seen it a couple times What happens is is Two three four years down the road the roof gets worse leaks start happening and um, They've already spent all that money to fix it so if they've already spent all that money and they've already done that They're still paying their premiums each month Okay and if you're a homeowner, you're, you're still having to pay your premiums each month. And all you're doing, if you don't fix that roof and you're paying those premiums each month, all you're doing is A, making the insurance company richer and B, helping other people get their roofs fixed. Okay, Because you can't file another claim. They're not going to pay for a roof that should have already been fixed. They're not going to pay for it twice, no matter if it's one year, two years, three years, four years, five years down the road, right? So please, 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 a salesperson or homeowner, if you see this, stress, 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 stress the fact to these homeowners, you, you have to use that money to fix your house. You have to, okay? Because you will end up screwing yourself, absolutely screwing yourself. Because when leaks and stuff start happening, you're gonna have to figure out a way to fix it. You know, and if that money's already spent and you can't file another claim, what are you gonna do? And you spent all of that money the last two or three years. I mean, let's say your policy's $1,500 a, a year, which is I'm probably pretty cheap. But in three years, you've just spent $4,500 to an insurance company for nothing, for nothing. Okay. So please, 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 man, I'm telling you, and I'm, like I said, I've seen this a couple times with other people, uh, especially here in Dallas for some reason, when people get these big, big paychecks, you know, from their insurance company, they're using it for something else. And now all of a sudden they have leaks and they're filing claims again. And the insurance company is going, I'm oh, sorry, I'm not paying for that again. You know, and then you're kind of up shit creek. And remember to remember this too. The most precious asset, the most precious asset, the most valuable asset that a homeowner has is their home. 
okay? It's an asset. It's it's just an asset. I'm not going to say it's a it's a uh, uh, whatever you call it a, a an investment. It's it's not really an investment because you're you're buying something. You're actually putting money towards something to have. So you're not really investing it. You know, you're actually, it's just a, an object that you're paying for because it's not really bringing you money back. But it is an asset that you have that you can use later, that you may need to sell, that you may need a mortgage for or, or to remortgage something for or, or, or whatever the case may be. So you got to continue to take care of that asset, right? You got to continue to take care of it. So if the insurance company gives you money to take care of that asset, take care of it. Trust me, take care of it, or you will. You'll find yourself in a really, really deep, deep hole, and it and it's a real. It, I'm telling you, it's it's a pain, and it gets expensive. It gets really, really expensive down the road. All right. So again, if if you're a salesperson, stress that. Use that money. I don't even care if you use me. I, I tell that to customers all the time. I don't even care if you use this money to pay me to fix your roof. At least pay somebody to fix your roof. Pay somebody and get it done. Okay? And if you're a homeowner watching this, man, I'm telling you, fix your house. Fix it. All right? If you like this channel, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe to it. Hope everybody's killing it. Hope everybody's doing great. Y'all have a good night. See you later.